welcome to Remote Learning with Mrs. Camacho. We're going to be doing a math lesson here today, and today's lesson is Lesson 38, Problem Set. Um, we're going to be working with a number path. We're going to be working with um, one more, completing the number sentence, and using it in a five, um, depicting it in a five group way. So before we get started, let's do a quick fluency practice. practice. You just need a flat surface. And I'm gonna use this paper towel because I'm using crayons as my counters and I don't want it rolling over the table while I'm doing it. But you guys can use toy cards, you guys can use um, dry beans. Um, basically whatever you have that you can use as counters, okay? So the first thing you're gonna need are 10 counters. I'm using 10 crayons. And I'm going to use a paper towel to prevent it from rolling off. So what I'm going to be asking you is to show me, okay? So you have to listen to what I'm asking you to show me. So then the first thing we're gonna do is ask you, show me what's one more than zero. What's that? One. What's one more than one? Two. What's one more than two? Three. What's one more than three? Four. What's one more than four? What's five. one more than five? Six. What's one more than six? Seven. What's one more than seven? Eight. What's one more than eight? Nine. And finally, what's one more than nine? Ten. Okay, so we're going to do it one other way, which is one less, even though we're not working with one less today, but it's good practice, right? <clears throat> so we have ten crayons. And you're going to show me what's one less than ten? Nine. What's one less than nine? Eight. What's one less than eight? Seven. What's one less than seven? Six. What's one less than six? Five. What's one less than five? Four. What's one less than four? Three. What's one less than three? Two. And what's one less than one? I'm sorry, what's one less than two? One. And what's one less than one? Zero. So we're back to zero, which is great. You guys can continue practicing this on your own. So using the number path, um, we're going to use it to show what's one more. So I'm just gonna give you a quick example of that. So um, we're gonna do this number sentence and we're gonna show it using our fingers with the number path, okay? So we have, let's read it out, boys and girls, it's what? If you said one plus one equals, you are correct. So let us show that in the number path, okay? So we're gonna do one and one more is two. Two and one more is three. Three and one more is four. Four and one more is five. Five and one more is six. Six and one more is seven. Seven, one more is eight. Eight, one more is nine. Nine and one more is 10. Very good. You can continue practicing that as well using your fingers. Good practice. So here we're going to do the one plus one equals, right? So looking at the number path, you can do one plus one more and it equals to what? Two. So you're gonna write the number two in the box. And then to show that, you're going to use two different color crayons. You can use whatever color crayons you want. I'm going to use red and green. So I'm going to do um, green to show one and red to show one more. Okay. And that's how you're going to complete the rest. So you're going to two plus one equals. You're going to use the number pad. You have two plus one more equals. <clears throat> Write the number in the box and then color in two, one color, and then another color to show one more, okay? All right, 